Welcome back, Five Aces. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here. Now, 2020 has been kind of a, a tough one for some of the people out there, what with the raging pandemic going on, what with uh, all the COVID-related troubles that came with it. So let's take a nice little beach vacation here on the little spa resort that is the lush Tiberium Green Fields of, of Shadow Paradise. We haven't casted this mod in a long, long while, and there have been lots of improvements, which we are about to witness. This is going to be a 1v1 between two of the players who help playtest this a lot, and one of them actually is a creator of, um, of, a, of another mod that I'm planning on highlighting very soon. Anyway, let's dive right into this. In the bottom left, spawning as the mutants, it is going to be Mr. Nah. And he is going to be tangling here, trifling with Mr. Mustafa Tiar, creator of the Romanov's Vengeance mod, infamous for its wackiness and goofiness. This is going to be pretty cool, haven't uh, been casting that for a while, and yeah, rotating buildings are now in. I think some of the placeholder models have actually been replaced. It's been a, an, an ongoing recurring theme here in Shadow Paradise that some models still were placeholders, but this looks to be fixed. Also, the models look a lot cleaner now, and the bibs are now accurately displayed. Awesome stuff. So, Marauder, Marauder Mirror matches are always kind of fun, because it's a minigame. Who gets to deploy their Marauders in favorable positions and not get them crushed by an early vehicle? Alright, we're seeing lots of shotgunning going on. Wait, do I have my headphones on the wrong way? Appears to be the case. Yeah. Good old shotgun v shotgun action here. Oh, nicely cutting into the back lines is Na, intercepting the reinforcements from Mustafa and getting the engineer, who has also gotten a new model. That's kind of sweet. Shotgun in hand. That's always wonky because they, they do so much AoE damage. So sometimes stacking your marauders up against each other is not a great idea. Yeah, this is the new model for the mutant engineer. It looks really cool. And the Tiberian extractor has also been refined. Nolt has been exceptionally productive, especially with regards to the models. They look so detailed and have so many animation frames. Really nice idea from Marge, just sitting here in the blue tip and letting his boys recover, which is obviously a faction special of the mutants. They're gonna gradually heal up over time, but you can't outheal crushes. The first Lynx tank of Mustafa is coming out and immediately scouting the perimeter. As you could see here, that was a discarded shell. Ooh, wow. Tank shells now discard. This looks so cool. It's just a nice little graphic detail. Nothing too spectacular, but it's, it's a nice touch from Nolt. Crushing obviously is harder in this mod, but he still manages to get that. The animation frames are also insane. Did you see the, the blood pools? That was a lot of animation frames that went into this, all hand-drawn by Nolt, so some serious talent handed to the man. Yeah, the Lynx tank, the perfect kingmaker out on the field for Mustafa for the time being. And uh, it's now retreating because the mutant feeds are about when stalking their prey. Some more shotgunning going on. We didn't get the engineering time. So for now, a 2 over 1 Derek advantage for now. Man, those pools of blood. Dissolving right there. Yeah, I'm really hyped. Really happy to be back. Also, uh, we may be casting some RA2 in the future. Who knows? And obviously Roman of Vengeance is still on the menu. I've got a productive face now because my yeah, the, my girlfriend and my and my baby daughter are out of the house right now. I'm trying for some crushes but not finding any. Yeah. Link's tank is forfeit, but it's it's 600. That's an investment that, that players are gonna be willing to take. And the engineer here got intercepted, so Mustafa at least taking out a at least preventing a 3 over 1 direct advantage. Lots of marauders, um, lots of fiends here, specifically. But this means that there is gonna be, yeah, just a good vehicle hunting pack. Uh, mutant fiends are not the most reliable out on the field. They are, like, their miss ratio is quite high when they, they can't really perform hit and run. Unless, let's say, the, the rocket infantry for Nod, who have tracking backpacks, rocket backpacks. Yeah. I used the War Factory for Mustafa, playing it very safe with his bunkers. Just deploying a few in the back lines. Four harvesters on the main patch. The Econ is not that great for Na just yet, but he, yeah, it's up to five harvesters now, that's fine. So he has taken his expansion, and there's a Raider Dome out for Mustafa. 
maybe transitioning into an air build. Yep, there is already the mutant helicopter on the way. And a b -b 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 battle bust bust. Oh, this is what I like to see. One bus full of shotgunners, one bus full of tapir and fiends. This is how we roll. Roll out on the fields, boys. This is a lethal combo. If this gets into your back lines, this demolishes harvesters. A bit hard to attain though, because on this map, very choke pointy, easy to defend. There is there is only one legitimate entrance, and this can be walled up easily. Seeing some death and destruction. Okay, spy satellite got taken from Mustafa, so he's got access to the support power there. Two minutes in the spy satellite. That just oh wait, does does not detect both units. Okay. Must be a change from previous versions. There are obviously some changes that I'm just not aware of. There's a huge change log and I didn't get the time to read all of that. Might be worth it waiting for the uh, spy satellite to time down. Uh, out comes the Thomas the Mutant Steampunk da uh, Dank Engine. Dank Tank Engine. Trying to establish a base here in the north end as well. Might fall foul of the battle bus. Is going to this. Ooh, lucky. Nah, should have, should have heard the warning shots here. Yep, yep. Thomas had never seen such bullshit terrain before. He's out of there. Just like that, he's going for the Tiberian extract, but it's probably the consolation price. The entire army. Whoa, that is some serious coming. Wait, what was that? Did they crush a hedge or something? That looked insane. Ooh, he's unloading right into the arms of a welcoming army full of Tiberian teams and shotgunners. That was not the most efficient idea from Mustafa right there. Could have been handled a bit more, a bit more uh, delicately. Mutant units are very fragile, and it shows. There's still some... Wait, let me turn that around for now. Ah, I know what that is. So we're seeing some queens, and the queens have laid some ne some eggs. That's a very smart uh, u smart use case for them, because the the egg spawn ability has a long cooldown, almost two minutes, I guess. And just immediately upon them entering the battlefield, they start out with a full charge. It's not like Starcraft where they have to to acquire mana first because before they use their spells, rather they start out with what translates to full mana. Spy satellite going down here. So this means that just sending them out on the fields and deploying eggs here or there in your opponent's attack vector is a very good call. Oh, do I smell a carry-all drop? Is that gonna be the demo truck of legends? Let's check the reduction tab. Lyra the Stormcaller is being called in and as well as a demo truck. Falcons as well and uh, aircraft have received a major overhaul. Let's see how this one is gonna look. From what I've seen from screenshots it looks fantastic. So the army composition is a little bit of everything, a mixed pack here for Mustafa. Quad cannons. Ha oh, they got renamed. Tiberian bulls are now Carnotaurus. Okay. Lyra is online, and I really love the addition of just a little extra logo to distinguish the hero units from the rest. I think I've seen them. Yep, they have afterburners now. This is such a cool pixel effect. Nolt is a really talented uh, graphical artist. Look at the afterburner. They still have... <laughs> A really, really weird uh, turn rate, but first bombing strike. As soon as Falcons acquire a target, they become much faster. Okay, he is spotted. Pretty good. Got a lot of Tiberian fiends. Falcons are expensive, but that might have been worth it. Ravagers are coming online as well. Yeah, 2,000 for a Falcon. Mm. Wow. Queens do a lot of damage against stationary targets, huh? As well as Lyra is zapping fiends from the back lines. Look at her go. Already up to some veterans here. Only bunkers have fallen so far. The eco lines are still holding strong. That is a very good hold. Wow. Okay, there was basically no damage taken from Mustafa. Really well played. Nice defense. And the Falcons are waiting, stocking their prey. Harvester could be pulled back online. So the harvest, it's a milk truck. It's a Tiberium, Tiberium, uh, oh, there we go, attack run. Onto the Carnotaurus, whoa, the explosion looks cool as well. Yeah, that's a Tiberium contaminated milk truck, that's all it is. But it would make sense that the mutants operating on a shoestring budget would just, like, use everything at their disposal, like civilian repurposed vehicles. Don't tell me that's not a milk truck. 
map control is really starting to look up for Na, who has a uh, yeah, just opted like taking later, but taking an extra expansion and that really would have befitted Mustafa as well taking the third base. He is not gonna win this in the long run if he just keeps producing off of two bases instead of three. What is got him? Oh, that was the her helicarrier. I kind of missed that one, but we caught the tail end. Nice blast. Fire now actually does damage, as, as evidenced here. Wait, what? Is that residual radiation? Cool. Didn't get the War Factory, but got the MCV at least. This is still mining, though. Some nice hits from the Falcons as well. The Tiberium poisoning still looks uh, a bit weird, but that's just the way the engine is coded. And well, one cool thing about Marauders is uh, about about mutants is you can just always park your units on top of an open Tiberium patch and yeah, patch them back up in no time. But the next attack pass from the Falcons is ready to go. Mustafa just playing defense. Tower fucking defense. Right, I want to see them having assigned a target. Oh, they're so much faster. This honestly is not the way to go. You don't want to target the Tiberium Extractors. You can just take those. Take those with an engineer or whatever. Whatever it takes. Ion Storm is now online. Meditation Hall is coming up. It's gonna take a rough five minutes plus minus because the power bill is not paid as of yet. Ravages are also starting to appear. Ravages are very much a unit to my liking. Tanky boys, but with hit and run potential, basically death claws for all intents and purposes. Lots of bunkers in the middle, but if this gets crushed, he's long distance mining. This would be very vulnerable to a flank or just an air raid in general. I really don't know what the game plan is for Mustafa here. He doesn't want to just target the Tapirum Extractor. It's just so much opportunity cost lost. Mother Vein Hole as well. So now just unlocking the entire tech tree. He's going for the 100% achievement here. This is not a good target. Yeah, look at the afterburners. Oh, it looks so sick. Nolt, I really uh, gotta commend you for your graphical work here. It's basically like an Aurora Alpha. Uh oh, there's a demo truck. Is it gonna get revealed? Wait, what player number is he? No, oh, he hasn't spotted it. He's player number zero for whatever reason. He has not spotted it. Uh oh, it's coming right out of the dark. This army is forfeit, and the deeper he goes, the more infrastructure is going to be lost as well. Could have been worse. Base infrastructure isn't being touched, but man, that was a rough one. That did not look too pretty, and the second demo truck is coming in. Nothing here to stop this one. Ravages probably just waiting, waiting to crack a cold demo truck open. Oh. Ravages cost a lot. No, oh, wait, 950? Okay, those are seriously cheap. I thought they would be much, much more expensive. Another little death, death claw run by. Hello! <laughs> they kind of. What's that gray bar? They're kind of debuffing each other. Is that from the Carnotaurus? Probably. Here's the case. Mutant skirmishes chipping in some damage as well from the back lines. Pretty cool hit and run units. A bit too close for convert here. The, uh, the queen's laying a couple eggs, but ultimately paying the price here. Yeah, I think that slows down units. Is that a debuff from the death claw itself? Oh, sick hits here. The falcon just yeah, paying for itself. <laughs> in comes a crab infestation. You might have a crab problem here, my friend. Ravagers from Mustafa just going to town on the Carnotaurus and the infantry. But likewise, the, armies are, the army is dwindling, but so is the base infrastructure for, for Mustafa. Yeah, this seems to be a slowdown effect. Okay, this ensures that you can't get away from them, even in melee range. Ouch. That's kind of brutal. Lira's back at it. Man, that was a sick hold, and he didn't lose any econ just yet either, but oops, we are gonna check the economy tab. Yeah, that is 20k difference. 
There is another wave, this time followed up by a mutant MCV, so probably a base push. Plus taking the blue tip, that's very smart from Na. Mustafa never got got into uh, into economy overdrive. Unfortunate. Alright, bombing this would be worth it only with two Falcons. Ooh, too close. Too close, my friend. Icarus staying a bit straying a bit too close to the sun. And that's not gearing up for another push here. With Tyrants added, and they've got pretty good anti-air, which it doesn't make sense because they're basically like Tesla troopers in terms of their attack profile. Just chain lightning. How, how are they supposed to shoot that up in the air? And how is that supposed to get grounding? How is airborne lightning supposed to damage the planes after all? Like, even if that happens in real life, the only consequence is usually that, that, that the board ele onboard electronics don't work anymore. But hey, we're not here for the realism, we're here for the carnage. All right. Oh man, the ravages from Na going to town. It's not enough stopping power. I thought that would have been a more convincing hold. Ooh, Lyra getting low. Yeah, the MRLS are doing her in. That was the last straw. And it's starting to look increasingly like... Ooh, what a nice explosion. Nice demo track through the flanks, but didn't get to connect to the vein hole. What killed it? There must have been a bunker here. Or no, that, there's some infantry residue. So it was just infantry stopping it. That was a nice idea, blowing up the vein hole. But it's now 7 seconds to the vein hole, 15 seconds to the iron storm. I think Mustafa has just waited a little too long. And this is gonna be his final moments that he's gonna, that he's gonna live out here. An agonizing uh, five minutes, probably. All right. Oh, both the super weapons being fired at once. Vein hole spawning in an infinite amount of viscerides. And in comes the Ion Storm as well. Just for good measure. Oh, this is carnage. Look at the graphical effects, though. It looks so pretty. MCB, you don't want to drive there. This road is unsafe. This, this road has been marked as unsafe. Trust me. Uh, yep. Peace! Alright, good night, sweet prince. GG being called. Oh, nice display. This is... Yeah, this is why I love Shadow Paradise. Just carnage. Really good unit mix here from now, and uh, really good display of all the units. Almost all the units have been on display. Uh, specifically, Ravager are just so good. Hit and run. Now that they apparently apply a debuff, uh, which slows down units, as far as I could tell. It just makes them stick more, it gives them more sticking power. Alright, we're gonna be casting Moshe at Paradise, and don't worry, it's just like an extra little bit of bonus content scattered in. We're still gonna be at one uh, open array cast a week, plus one Compact Heroes 2 cast a week. But if you like this, download the mod, it's free, it is open array based, it's all the good stuff, it is uh, open source. So, come grab it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next cast, 5 Aces, out. Battle Control Offline.